Well, good evening and welcome into Sports Tonight at 10. We're going to take it to the mats, but not the wrestling mats, the gymnastic mats. We've got some high flyers winning some high awards and going to some high tournaments. I caught up with some national-bound gymnasts from world-class athletics. Now, I'm sure we've all heard, stop doing that. You're going to hurt yourself from our mothers at some point in our lives. However, most of our responses were to go find something else to do. But there's the select few who didn't stop. They just changed locations. Well, when I started, I was doing flips in like the yard, and like my parents were like, "You can't be doing that, so you gotta uh, do somewhere safe." So um, they put me in gymnastics, and I loved it. And that love comes in tons of different facets: With the competition, the continued process of getting better, and the other athletes. Being able to see my friends at practice every day and meet new people at the competitions and learning all the new things I can do and just working with my body and making the best of it. I just love being in the air, flipping, doing things uh, other people can't do. Now for both Cody and Aiden, qualifying for nationals means a lot as it's been one of the ultimate goals of their long careers. Careers spanning 17 years in the gym combined. I felt pretty good because this is my first time going to nationals. I've been working my butt off to make it there and uh, well, I'm here, I'm there. So. And Cody earned his spot in style too by becoming the state and regional champion in the floor routine. And he's hoping that the exposure at nationals helps lead to future collegiate plans. The amount of hours and work I've put into it over the years has shown at the competition. And I'm able to say that I did better than all the other kids in my entire region on the floor. I'm able to go to the national competition, which for me, there's a lot of colleges that go to the national competitions that will go and watch so they can build their own teams and hopefully get like a college scholarship or something. And though coming home with gold is the goal, the boys say they aren't feeling major pressure. They're just excited for the opportunity and to be able to put their skills on display on a massive stage or mat or bar or rings. Um, just to be there, it'd be a really cool experience, and it being my first like time going, it's just going to be phenomenal. This year, Nationals is out in Oklahoma City, and will draw in over 1,700 athletes, ranging from 12 to 19 years old. And all I'm saying, those gyms have better bought their chalk in bulk. Now, the national tournament is the weekend of May 9th through 12th, and it's getting crunch time for these talented boys. And over to the